Joining us now to discuss the launch and the state of private markets heading into the back half of the year, Graycroft co-founder and managing partner Dana Settle. It's great to have you on the show, Dana. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. So how does this work, the new fund with Coke and the, the bottling partners? And is this unique? I, I, don't, I don't see announcements like this from big companies every day. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it is pretty unique, and, and we've really been impressed with Coca-Cola and their bottling partners uh, in terms of getting this fund off the ground. Um, it was really their vision, and they came to us, and it's an area that we had spent a lot of time on, you know, historically thinking about where the opportunities uh, existed for venture. And um, as we really spent time with them, the opportunity to partner with the Coca-Cola system to really deploy solutions that are going to make an impact globally is incredible. And I do think it's unique. What, what sort of in companies do you invest, are you guys going to invest in and what sort of returns do you expect? So we're looking for venture returns and that, that, you know, that really is, is um, first and foremost from our standpoint, um, you know, why they've come to us and, and why they wanted to look at doing this as a venture fund. Um, you know, I think if you look at where venture capital can make a real impact, it is on finding opportunities to, uh, to, to have compounding uh, growth in sectors that have huge opportunity. And, you know, I think when we look at investing in things that are inevitable, I mean, the planet has finite resources and, and you know, I think a lot of things are going to need to change. And Coke has done an excellent job at identifying where there are opportunities to decrease their carbon footprint. And that's those are the areas that we're going to focus on. So we're thinking, I mean, they've been working a lot on, on bottles, plastic bottles, that sort of thing. Is that is that the focus? Is it on environment? So it's it's really everything in their whole system. So if you think about packaging, you think about, you know, the sort of overall supply chain distribution, um, cooling, heating, um, there's there's, you know, a number of areas that we're sort of prioritizing. Um, and, you know, as we go, we'll we'll look at where the world is is, you know, where there are the biggest opportunities to actually uh, impact their system. And so, you know, out of the gates, it's it's focusing on, like you said, sort of packaging. It's focusing on um, the, the overall supply chain, uh, distribution centers, um, uh, cooling, and, and then, um, and that's sort of for the things that can be commercialized today. And so the fund will look at things that can be commercialized today, can be deployed throughout the system, and where, you know, again, these partners have all come together to look for opportunities where they can deploy them globally. Um, and, uh, and then also on the sort of earlier stage things, looking at really exciting technologies that may be, may be early, um, but can have a really significant impact. What about the overall trend for fundraising right now, Dana? How difficult is it? Well, it's certainly, I mean, <laughs> I think it's no secret that in, in venture capital, um, the uh, overall fundraising environment has certainly shifted pretty dramatically. Um, but the opportunity set is incredible. And, you know, I think that's why we're so excited about this, because the opportunity to really invest in an area that we think will drive uh, outlier returns, both in terms of sort of the core sustainability, but also where it intersects with our core funds, where we're investing in AI and software solutions and, you know, where those things can actually really accelerate um, change. And, and, you know, also in consumer products, and that's where the packaging piece comes in um, at the earliest stages. Yeah, I mean, the, the startup 